Hello and welcome to Savor.Slurped. I'm Tristan Ogram Buckley and uh, today we're going to be talking about how to take tasting notes. Now, I'm going to use tasting notes that I've already taken and because it's important to be unbiased when doing something like this, I'm going to use a bourbon that I aged myself. I actually took this, uh, I took a uh, bottle of uh, Midnight Moon, which is a moonshine style corn whiskey that's distilled legally uh, and I put it in a barrel here by Deep South Barrels um, and about two months later I had the equivalent of a four-year bourbon. This I call Lucky Bug Bourbon because this is the Lucky Bug International Studios. Now first things first you have to choose what kind of glass you're going to use. A lot of people would use an old-fashioned glass to drink whiskey, but it's not good for tasting notes because those straight uh, sides allow a lot of smell to escape and you want to use your nose as much as possible. So it's best to use a nosing glass. Brandy Snifter, for example, or one that was made directly for whiskey, the Glencairn glass. I, I do recommend it because the uh, sides don't slope into the point where you have to tip the thing right above your head to drink it. Now, I already took tasting notes on this because I don't want to bore you with all the writing. Uh, I used my Spirits Tasting Journal, which allows you to kind of keep track of everything that you're doing. Uh, first thing you do is actually take down the notes of the, uh, the bottle. Uh, the brand is Lucky Bug, that's already said. The expression, two months, it's been aged two months uh, in a one liter bourbon barrel. Uh, it was produced here in High Point, North Carolina. This part here was distilled elsewhere, but it was actually aged here, and so it became bourbon here. The price, nil, because it was aged here. Uh, the glass, like we said, is the Glencairn, and so I have circled the little Glencairn image right there. Uh, so the nose of it, well, first let's actually take a look at it. The color is a deep golden copper. It's a little bit reddish, not very, but what's cool is I know all that came from the, the barrel because I know I didn't add any caramel coloring to it. This was clear when I got it. Uh, so it's a bourbon uh, because it matches all the requirements for bourbon. It's not a straight bourbon because it wasn't aged two years, but it is a bourbon. The nose, don't put your nose all the way in the glass because if it's a strong spirit it can burn out your sense of smell for a little bit and then you'll have to wait. I'm getting smoky vanilla, charcoal, uh, it makes me think of a rainy day in an old wooden barn but a clean one, no animal smells. Um, the, the palette, we'll start with the body of it, we take a tiny little sip. And I, I do mean a tiny one so that it can mix with the air and you can taste it really well. And chew on it. And it starts off full bodied when it hits the tongue, but it spreads out quickly and feels like water after that. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting a smoky charcoal uh, corn oil sweetness. Um, it, it does taste sweet. It is a, when I say it's a corn whiskey, the Midnight Moon, uh, it really feels like if they used only corn because I'm getting corn oil almost exclusively when I taste this and then this it really comes through it's very very much a corn corn bourbon all bourbon has at least 51 percent corn but this doesn't taste like it's got anything else at all the finish after you swallow it lingers <clears throat> It's a pleasant smokiness that stays in the nose, and it makes you think of an evening by the fireplace uh, with a blizzard outside. Long after swallowing, the vanilla remains. There's the, always that smoky vanilla flavor that stays in your nose long, long after you've swallowed. Now, I love this stuff, and I'm terribly sorry to see it so low. In fact, it was only about half full when I bottled it because so much evaporated. 
Um, also, I, I normally put the proof. I had to put the amount of alcohol on this because I don't have a hydrometer to test the actual proof of this. I know a lot of alcohol evaporated, so it's probably a lot lower proof than 100 proof. But this bourbon right here, I love it. It's not just because I made it, it's also because it's delicious. Uh, and so I gave it a 96 out of 100. Um, so if you want to learn how to taste spirits, you don't have to be a connoisseur or an expert. I am definitely not. I'm very much a beginner. But uh, the most important things are practice, practice responsibly, and practice with others. Uh, find someone else who's interested, get together, get some bottles together, and taste just a few of them. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. It's still alcohol. Whether or not you're doing it to get drunk, and by the way, tasting is not to get drunk. Uh, talk to each other, and even if you're both very much beginners, what little I get might be different from what little you get, and when we talk, we get twice as much. So, that's really all there is to it. Just remember, the point is to experience and enjoy. Savor, don't slurp, and cheers. While I savor my whiskey, you can savor the video by hitting the like button and sharing with your friends. Leave me a message in the comments below to tell me what you thought, and I'm going to be coming out with some new videos soon that I think you're going to like, so don't forget to subscribe. Until then, cheers.